They say summer is the time to live in Chicago. Well, that's extended into autumn as we are ready to roll under blue skies at Soldier Field. Just a short time ago, this crowd loud enough to shake the foundations of this nearly century-old building. They are ready for football indeed in Chicago as their guys get set to do battle with Matthew Stafford and the Detroit Lions. The Chicago offense set to get started. They will run for the first time with David Montgomery. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. Only a couple for him there on the game's first play, and it's second down. That was a pretty good job defensively to hold him to a two-yard run, but I've got to think this offensive line, they're asking their quarterback for a different type of a run, one that they rely on, one they have confidence in, one they feel like they can block. From the 27, Trubisky, pass incomplete. Cole Komet, the intended receiver, and that'll make it third down. You and I watched film yesterday, and you told me to watch his feet. For whatever reason, his footwork just looked off on that throw. And you always love it when an ex-defensive back talks quarterback mechanics, right? Well, but you're good at it. Well, I, I try, all right? I don't know how good I am, but it doesn't take much to tell. His mechanics are off a little bit, exactly what you described. Footwork, that led to the incompletion. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. That good for 19 yards as they pick up the conversion on third. Let's give a little credit there. The offensive play car sense that the screen pass was available. Whenever you're getting a lot of heavy pressure towards your quarterback, that's when you're thinking about running the screen and using that pressure against the defense. And it worked very well there for a first down. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked by Tracy Walker, and his guys will set up shop at midfield at the 50-yard line. Stafford and the Lions now have it first and 10, right at the 50-yard line. Out of the gun, he'll throw. Gets it quickly to Galladay. Touchdown, Detroit! Kenny Galladay, 50 yards, and the Lions are going to take a first-quarter lead. Well, that's how you take advantage of an early turnover. A sudden change situation, meaning ball's turned over. How's both sides going to handle it? One side handled it way better. They went right out on the field and put the ball in the end zone. One play, that just added insult to injury. Yeah, that just tells you on the defensive side, they didn't come out ready to go, still reeling from the fact that the ball got turned over. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Takes this about five yards deep, and Patterson will not return it. It comes out to the 25. Chicago works their way back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. They had the interception last time. It led to the opening touchdown. So now 7-0 the score as they start first and 10. The first carry for the shifty Tariq Cohen. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. The ball carry. Credit to tackle that time to Deshaun Hand. Early down stuff to put this offense in a precarious position. We know the securing the point of attack, especially against the big body guys in the middle of this D, has got to be priority one. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. Out of the gun, running with Cohen. Able to shake free for about seven up to the 35. 
And that's the kind of run that gets everyone excited on offense. And you know, oftentimes, the guys who carry the ball are the ones in the huddle doing the chirping. Right now, I think it's the offensive line telling them, run it again. We are right there about to break a big one. Trubisky now to throw on third down. Got his tight end here. It's Holtz. And yeah, they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. Great way to convert on third down there. 21 yards to play. You don't always expect tight ends to be big in terms of run after the catch, but after that play, he joins a growing band of players that's putting that stereotype right on its ear. So the ball moves into Lion territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 44-yard line. Trubisky throwing complete to Komet, the tight end. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. A gain of nine. Let's just break this down and make it pretty simple. Key to the drag route, letting the play develop, finding the hole in the defense, and giving your athlete, yes, athlete, a chance to make something happen once he has the ball in his hands. A play fake to Montgomery. Now Trubisky. His throw caught at about the five. Touchdown, Chicago! Anthony Miller, 35 yards. And the Bears are an extra point away from tying the football game. When we draw up defenses on the board, we do account for every receiver. But on that particular play, somehow he was wide open, became an easy touchdown pass. It's up and good. So these teams match touchdowns here in the first quarter, and we're tied 7-7. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. Jamal Agnew now to return it. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. Back onto the field come the Lions for their second overall drive. And they were able to punch it in the end zone last time. They'll be looking to do that again here for the defense. Obviously, they'll be looking to stop them from punching it back in the end zone. It always is punch counter punch, isn't it? And which team has the advantage? Well, let's just go back. Last time on offense, they rolled downfield, got into a good rhythm. You can see a little more bounce in and out of the huddle. You can see the sideline really get into the game. So defensively, you're thinking to yourself, how do we take that away from them? How do we get the advantage back? Let's see what they come up with. I think pressure is always the first way to go. <laughs> you love pressure. I love it. Let's see if they dial it up this drive. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. From the gun, here's Stafford. Open man, he's got him, the tight end, Hawkinson. Well, this crowd does not like that call. Understandable reaction from them. That's their team that the penalty is going against. But you and I both know they're going to take care of the quarterback. So the yellow flag came out, and that leads to a new set of downs for this offense. First and 10. Now Stafford. He'll get this one to Galladay. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. He'll get a dozen there, and the Lions have a first down. When the hitch route has run really well, that jab step off the line of scrimmage by the receiver, which is designed to back up the defender and give him a little bit of space, all you want there, get that space, catch the football, and then make a move and pick up extra yardage. And that's exactly what he got done there. They run on first down as they get about three. Second and seven, forthcoming. Brought down at the 30-yard line. A three-yard pickup brings up second and seven. 
These two teams all tied after one. Score tied seven to seven. The second and seven with our score tied at seven, but they're planning to change that soon. Only question, will they get three or six out of it? Stafford throws complete to Galladay. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears' 20-yard line. It's a gain of 10. Give him 10 yards on that one, and that'll earn him a fresh set of downs. On first and 10, it's Swift. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. Offensive linemen love creating space for their guys carrying the ball. But when that guy also breaks tackles and creates extra yardage, they almost feel like he's one of them, and they really embrace him. The previous run, good for nine. Here's second and a yard. Stafford going to give it to Swift. And here he'll get it down to the seven. Four yards on the play, and that leads to the first and goal. It's nice every now and then in this game not to see people overthink it. Just hand it to the old reliable guy. Let him pick up the first down. A shotgun snap for Stafford. This will be caught at about the five. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. They'll contain him to just four, second down. Well, the strategy was evident there. Get it to your tight end and make it a one-on-one -on -one play with a cornerback. Who's usually going to win that one? The tight end, but not there. Not in this situation. How about the corner defeating that logic and making a really nice tackle? They'll run it with Johnson. And they'll bring him down after just a short pickup. They get three yards closer, but still work to do. It's third and goal. Pretty good job defensively. Thought he was going to get it, but they knew where that marker was, and they stopped him just short of it. What it does is emphasize that strategic football and situational football is not just played on the offensive side, is it? Defense understanding, as you noted, where the first down marker was and making sure they didn't get there. They'll run with Swift. Boy, no chance as he was met and dropped behind the line there. A three-yard loss. Fourth down now. One word comes to mind to me after that last play, and that's alert. That defense took a chance guessing the snap count, and they were so right. Got great push up front, and that forces fourth and goal. A 20-yard attempt. And the 13-year man puts it through. And the Lions are going to take a 3-0 lead. A good drive gets him inside the 5, but they could not punch it in. And credit the defense, too. Make sure that that happens because that was the old bend but don't break approach. Made sure they contained them when they absolutely had to and forced the field goal attempt that went through. the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. On the return, here's the dangerous Cordero Patterson. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. Good drive last time. Really effective passing the football. Do you maybe mix it up, now go to the ground game and surprise the defense a little bit? I would anticipate the defense making some changes, but I wouldn't necessarily just absolutely go in the opposite direction. They're doing so well throwing the ball. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm I wouldn't change it up until they showed me a reason to do so. And not a whole lot doing there, so he'll get it up to about the 28-yard line. It's a gain of a yard, and it takes us to the two-minute warning. One-yard gain. Brings up second and nine. Second and nine. Hey. 
From the shotgun is Trubisky. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts. So as they take it over, we step aside. Let's see what they draw up here. Third and long following the sack of Trubisky. Trubisky going to try and run. And he's going to lose yardage here. Back to his own 18. The Lions now going to use the second of their timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. So on fourth down, on is the punter, Pat O'Donnell, to kick it away. Jamal Agnew is deep to return it. It'll be a 40-yard punt, eight on the return, and the Lions will take over. And Detroit getting set to go now. Their drive last time, it stalled out. They were forced to take the short field goal. And the key phrase, you nailed it, forced to, because... You know coaches look at these short field goals as a last resort, right? To them, that's not how drives are supposed to end. You're supposed to put six on the board. That's a consolation prize, like going to the county fair. You don't get the big stuffed animal on that one, do you? No, you don't go top shelf. That's bottom shelf material. Five yards on the catch there brings up second down. Got to give credit where it's due. Really nice defense on that play. The pitch and catch was successful, but not any run after it. From the 47, it's second and five. Stafford. Open man is Galladay, complete. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. That one, a first down pickup of eight. One of the selling points of the in route is it gives the quarterback a really nice sight line to his receiver and almost on a direct shot, able to throw the ball into the middle of the field and have a great chance of success as they did on that play. On first down at Stafford. Open man is Quintez Cephas. And he's going to get this inside the 30. First down Lions on a pickup of 13. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. On first down, Stafford here. And down he goes. A coverage sack. Took too long to get rid of it. And credit that sack to Robert Quinn. A loss of 13 yards. It's second down. Now that after the sack, it'll be interesting to see what they have planned for second and 23. So we've hit halftime. Just a field goal separating these two teams at the break. As we send you down to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach, thank you, sir. A field goal separates these two teams as we come back for this second half. And this will make it into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 25 as Agnew elects for the touchback. We couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one score game, first and 10 here. And they're able to get this one across the 35. So a decent gain, but all for naught on the penalty. It's too bad, isn't it? They were feeling pretty good about it. The only people celebrating, the guys who just gave up that play. Man, I just love being in this stadium. So much history, tradition, so many great teams and games, and we're seeing a pretty good one right now. Hotly contested in the third quarter. The throw right side is complete here on the first play of the drive. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. A gain of seven brings up second down at the 25-yard line. Looking to throw again on second down. Stafford, and this one taken in by Cephas. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 
Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. Down Detroit. The first down carry here for Johnson. And very little daylight there. He'll get a couple up to the 44. That's a good play by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Held him to a gain of two. And that changes the playbook a little bit now for the guy calling plays. Second and eight. Now he's got to probably think about going to the air instead of maybe staying with the ground game. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Out of the gun, Stafford. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far. It brings up third down. Defensively, celebration time because they finally forced an incompletion. He was perfect throwing the ball to that point. Yeah, but from his viewpoint, they didn't force the incompletion. He just missed. That's how hot he is right now. That's how he wants to continue to throw the ball. Pressure, and he's taken down. A bear sack. That must be exactly what they were looking for coming out to start the third quarter. Get a sack, get off the field, get the momentum going in their direction. Get the ball back to your offense, right? Get that momentum because, hey, this lead is very, very slim. Here comes the Lions punter now as he's on to punt for the first time this afternoon. And a fair catch signaled for and taken at about the 18-yard line. It'll be a 39-yard punt, no return, and the Bears take over. So here are the Bears now as they get set for their first possession of the second half. Their defense just came up with a stop right out of the locker room, and now can the offense take advantage? Yeah, we don't want to turn this into something that it's not. It's only a one-score game, so it's not exactly a crucial possession. But at the same time, they'd like to get things started and at least come away with three points. Stepping up, he's going to keep it. Give him a couple on the scramble, it's second down. Nice job there defensively, a great time to dial up a blitz. And give him credit under center instead of throwing it away. Actually a pretty good job of getting past the line of scrimmage, not losing yardage. Second and eight coming up. Now Trubisky going to give this to Montgomery. And they'll get eight out of this before being stopped at the 28. That was a good run, and it got to the second level. And what I mean by that is that's where the linebackers usually play. First level being the defensive front. Last level being the secondary. But the strong safety position ended up making the tackle. And oftentimes, we call them a hybrid. Combination defensive back, combination linebacker. We saw the linebacker make the stop. And this will be a Bears first down as he gets this up past the 30 to the 32. I think I saw a lot of shoulders just drop there. And what I mean by that is they finally were able to relax a little bit because that was an important play call. They needed to pick up that first down at this stage of the game. Yeah, couldn't afford another quick drive and out. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. They run Montgomery, and he'll get this up only to about the 33. Montgomery, the ball carrier. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped him. Mark that down for a win in the defense's column. Now they'll throw it with Trubisky. And the hook up here to Allen Robinson. Trubisky. It'll be a gain of nine, and they'll be faced with a third in inches. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we play three quarters. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. The Bears on third down. They've been good three for four thus far. They're looking at third and a few inches. 
They'll try to run for it with Cohen. And he's going to have a first down as he's brought down at the 44-yard line. Chicago Bears. He'll get a couple yards on that one. And it's going to yield a new set of downs. 44-yard line. A pair of first downs gives him a first and 10 up at the 44. From the gun, it's Trubisky. Gets this to his running back, Tariq Cohen. Three yards the game there, second down. That's a good job there by the corner. We do talk about this a lot, that a lot of corners see their job as simply covering receivers. Tackling isn't everyone's thing. But in this case, he came up quickly and made a nice, sure tackle. That first down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. And now a pass dumped off to his running back. And this one's going to go the wrong way. Losing yardage back at the 42. I thought that wasn't a bad time to call the screen. I thought late game, down on the scoreboard, had to figure they were expecting a pass downfield. Yeah, so the edge rushers, they're coming. That could have hit big. You're right. Good recognition defensively to snuff that one out. On third down, Trubisky. That is caught by Cohen. Losing two yards that time, and now it's fourth down. Well, I know it goes against the instincts of the person catching the ball because all you're ever taught is catch the football, don't drop it. But drop it there. Yeah, in that situation, <laughs> dropping it would have been better. End up losing yardage, even though they completed the pass. As good as a sack. Yeah, how about that? Although they won't get the same credit for it, and it won't help them at contract time. O'Donnell, he's on to punt as he gets this one away. They call it 38 yards on the punt, no return. And out will come the offense as they take over. Here's the Detroit offense now as they head back out onto the field. A little less than four minutes remaining, and the margin for error is small with this slim lead. Operate within your four-minute offense here, Charles? Definitely. And remember, the four-minute offense doesn't always correspond to what's up on the clock. What they need to do is play a little bit of keep away right now run the clock down, make sure their opponent doesn't get the ball back. Their dream scenario, get enough first downs and make them eat up their timeouts so the game ends when you're kneeling down with the football. And he's the epitome of what we call the move tight end, a guy that you can line up anywhere, in the slot, out wide, in tight, doesn't really matter because he has such great skills, you want to utilize him in all aspects of your passing offense. And there he was in the slot for the catch. No yardage to speak up whatsoever. Leads to a third down. No gain on the play. And it's third down. That's going to set him back five yards. Bad time to get a delay of game penalty there. Not that there's a good time, but that makes it third and six. Now it's Stafford. They'll try and set up the screen to Swift. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. That's a third down conversion to 24 yards there. Nice play. Couldn't just sit on it here, could they? Had to throw the ball on third down. Got the big completion in the pickup. Fresh set of downs now. They've got to feel great. And defensively a backbreaker. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. They run out of the gun with Swift. And he'll be taken down just shy of midfield. And now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 1.57 to go in the ballgame. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. 
They'll try and run down some clock with Johnson. And he's got it across midfield and into Bear territory. And whistles, and we're going to have another stoppage of play as they call the timeout on defense with 1.53 left. The Bears bring out an extra defender in the secondary now for third down. Now Stafford. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. Here comes the Lions punter now as he'll kick it away for the second time. It's a 46-yard punt, two on the return, and it'll be first and 10 Bears from deep in their own territory. So now Trubisky and the Bears down 10-7, a minute 40 remaining. How will this thing pan out? We'll watch as they come up on first down. Back to throw. And this is taken in by Darnell Moody. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Give him nine there on the first down completion. But they picked up a little bit of yardage there. And now, in this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. And you can almost feel Trubisky saying, let's get to the line and hurry up. The throw over the middle taken in. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Obviously a big first down right there. Yeah, they still got to hustle. They got to get to the line of scrimmage and get set. But I don't think necessarily you need to spike it. But they've got to continue to move quickly. First down now, but that clock rolling. Trubisky to throw toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. He was trying to find Anthony Miller there, and now it's second down. He was unable to complete it there, and just not the game that you would expect from him. He's been off the mark, really, start to finish. Yeah, it makes you wonder what exactly is going on. Is he a little bit dinged up here, or is he just off just by a bit? Maybe he can get it back in this situation. He'll need to. Throwing now is Trubisky. Now a desperation throw deep depth, and this will be caught at the 30. And all the way down to the 26. Trubisky hitting Robinson for a big one, 42 yards. 26-yard line. Very much in range for a tying field goal as they hurry to the line. He'll get that complete to his tight end, Komet. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Eight yards on the pickup. Brings up second and two. At the 19. Well, partner, still a head scratcher to me how this one ended. Down three. I just thought, you know, no matter the situation, you're in a spot where you can kick that field goal and go to overtime. Why not do it? And this is where I think the analytics guys are going to continue to get more and more traction in the league. You know, we've talked about different people now saying, I need a game management coach, someone in the booth to take the emotion out of it. Did they lose track of where they were on the clock, right? Did they lose track of where they were on the field? Was it, was it makeable for their kicker? All those things come into play here, and it turns out they don't get it done. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. With that, we say so long from Soldier Field.